Oh my <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Media Zone. Ed and Dave here. And Ed Lelax David Arm. Lelax Arm. There it is. The I was just caught far off guard by a very poignant story. <laughs> it was poignant? Is <laughs> that what it was? <laughs> yes, Dave was right. telling. All right. About uh, never brought up before. I'm sorry. Ed. Touching story. Of course, uh, you never, never posted that on Facebook or anything. I can't post it on Facebook as I do not have a uh, <laughs> Facebook page. Well, this Facebook is out of control. You've got to watch what you're putting on there. Oh, now, no. uh, one of our friends, Dave, put on uh, his fiance passed away. Very Ooh. sad story. Oh, that's sad. One of our friends, he's young then. <laughs> yeah. So that's very sad. So you, don't, you want to stop and take a sec. Don't pour out your thoughts about it. It's very sad. But I don't know if I couldn't pour out my thoughts on something like that on Facebook. And then, especially, it comes back to haunt you two months later when you're talking about the new girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> what? Now, you, now, see, I would take that differently than you. You and would. Some people, some people feel the need to express themselves. It's very cathartic that uh -huh. they go out and they put it on Facebook. And it's good to them uh -huh. because they don't really see the people. They don't have to be face-to-face -face with people. And they can express, express themselves more fully. And they feel better about it. Uh-huh. And I don't see why you meet someone two, three months later, why that comes back to haunt you. So you meet mm. someone, doesn't mean you're still not upset or saddened by your previous loss. I guess. I disagree entirely with you, Ed. And, and, it's and, too and, soon. I'm disgusted with you. I can't be, too soon. <laughs> it's too soon. Too soon. I'm still mourning the loss. It's too soon. <laughs> Lelax here. Hey. <laughs> Whatever. Hey. <laughs> but if you, if you want to spill your guts, there was nothing better than that Halloween I woke up. And one of our friends was spilling about his his wife, who was screwing around with him. <laughs> he posted it was two or three guys, and he posted their names, addresses, uh -huh. uh, email addresses. He wanted everybody to barrage him with emails, and that uh -huh. I will say was quite entertaining. <laughs> of course, he had uh, he had to pull all that off. Uh -huh. But sometimes, in the heat of the moment, you gotta <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. you gotta. You know, take a breath there. Right, right. Yeah, making snap decisions based on yeah. an emotional response is usually never good. I have to be careful on there because somebody will post something and then I'll, I'll come out with an immediate snarky thought <laughs> and I have to watch <laughs> not to post that. Take right. a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. And it's just in my nature to come with a sarcastic comment right. sometimes. By the way, yes. we are a movie show. We are. We had to just jump right into that. Sometimes right. this happens. That's right. Lelac, what's up with you? Oh, you know, just hanging out, going on Facebook, <laughs> you know, telling everybody about my life. Yeah. You're not on the there norm, too. The norm, the norm. You're not on there too much, are you? No, no. not really. Are you more on your uh, texting everybody? Oh, oh me and texting. Oh, oh, yeah. I know, it's like a part of me now. <laughs> it's like the other arm. <laughs> on my constant, yeah, it's pretty bad. Get trouble at work with it. Yeah, people yeah. Are, I see at work, and they're supposed to be working like our producer here on the last show, <laughs> and they're, 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 they're texting, they're working, you know, they're on the computer, I see, and the uh, cross gates, those little kiosks. Of course, nobody's mm. stopping by to buy anything, so they're on the computer watching YouTube and uh, everything else. Of course, I, they're doing that where I work, I'm too. so glad I don't even have a phone. <laughs> I don't even have a cell phone where I can do that. Yeah. I don't need people getting a hold of me, That's good. no matter where I am. Mm. I, 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 I won't do it. You're like a breather. And these people are in the... Expensive. <laughs> what do you have? Do you have one of these I iPhones? I have an iPhone. Oh, no. I pay like $100 oh. a month on it. Oh. Yeah. How, how can you spend $100 oh. on a phone? Oh, but I, I get know. the internet. <laughs> that's, I, my, know. that's my Email. budget on chicks from Albany Street. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I won't do I it yet. It. I know it's sorry. I know it's fun. You can if you're sitting in the doctor's office, you can watch the the YouTube or something. But a hundred dollars a month, I yeah. think, on, on this stuff. Oh, I need another it's job, like, Ed. It's like another bill. It's exactly like just the one. No wonder she's running bill. around working all oh, the time, my doing doubles. My iPhone. Wow. Oh. Love it. Is that right. iPhone one or two you have, or three? What are they up I to? I got the north, the new uh, 4GS. Oh. Nah, I'm not gonna lie about it. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> kind of a big deal. But no, it's it's yeah, yeah. And like for the phone itself, I had like an upgrade. So like even like the phone itself was like three hundred dollars. For the love of Pete! <laughs> I'm up to date, Dave. Look what I got. <laughs> 
this is the track phone oh. 2000. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> know what you can do with this, Dave? Can call. Make a, can make yeah. a phone call. <laughs> You know what? I, I will say this. I don't have a cell phone in that in that vein that Lee likes talking about. No. I do have a track phone, yeah. but even mine is not a flip one. <laughs> oh, what? Mine is just like a caveman Fred Flintstone could use like a, it. <laughs> you just pick it up and put it to your ear. You have the uh, $10 version that's like this, Dave. It's just a thing. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. And I, and, and, and I never use it. I use it maybe one to four minutes uh, a week just to call my kids and say, I'm on my way. That's it. I leave it off. I don't want anyone calling me. No one does call me because no one knows the number. I don't even know the number. I don't use it. I don't want it. I only keep it for emergency purposes. And you know, the la I try to always keep it with me. Last time my car died, guess what I didn't have with me? Your phone. Oh. My phone. And guess what you can't find anywhere anymore? Pay phone. Yeah. All gone. And guess who won't let you use your phone when you go into the holiday inn? <laughs> <laughs> They won't let you use your desk phone unless you're staying there. Oh, so I had to use my so feet and walk on home. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so, that's so awful. Isn't that sad? But we come from a day, Dave, when there were no phones. I don't want to remind you of it again. <laughs> but my God, what these kids can do today with a little it's phone. It's a generation. It is. It really is. Oh. Everybody, all my friends, it's all text messaging. I mean, like top-notch phones it's it's true computers everything it's it's a generation difference yeah it's good though it's expensive yeah but uh, <laughs> it's amazing what you can do on what these is phones. that face dave <laughs> i'm sorry i reminded you of our age i prefer a simpler time though in the 70s dave when we didn't have all these things we barely had videotapes yet <laughs> wasn't that a better time dave i guess not Oh, oh. I'm so <laughs> old. <laughs> mm -hmm. no. These kids today with their porn <laughs> on their computers. No, no, no. That's what's good about the internet. <laughs> you know what we had, Dave? What? We had a late night <laughs> viewing <laughs> of... Um, uh, Spice so, Channel. This, no, HBO. All right. And if you're lucky, you got, to, you got to see a no. booby or something. That's, right. <laughs> that's all you had. I then. still, you know, that's how I, that's how I decide how I'm viewing films on IFC when they do a brief, <laughs> an explanation that <laughs> says nudity or strong sexual content. Mm -hmm. That stuff yeah. is getting DVR. <laughs> right, something to save. That's right. All right, but we digress oh. for ten minutes, and we have four films to do. So, and the first one is Dylan Dog. Ed. Right. Let's see Dylan if we can get Dog. these all in here. All right, I'll read fast. Dylan Dog, yeah, Dead of Night. Is Starring Brandon Routh, Sam Huntington, Anita Bream, and Tay Diggs. Brandon Routh stars as Dylan Dog, world famous private investigator specializing in affairs of the undead. His PI business card reads No pulse? No problem. Armed with an edgy wit and carrying an arsenal of silver and wood tipped bullets, Dylan must track down a dangerous artifact before a war ensues between his werewolf, vampire, and zombie clients living undercover in the monster-infested back streets of New Orleans, or New Orleans. <laughs> Rated PG-13 for sequences of a creature violence, action language, including some sexual references and some drug material. ...is, uh, manageable. This spring... Don't scream. <gasps> What the hell is going on here? Who's your friend, Dylan? She's got some nice parts on her. Not all the undead are bad. Oh my god, what's wrong with my arm? Lax, it's a loner. My arm is brown! They were out of Caucasian in your size. But it's his job. What the hell are you? To find the ones that are. What's up, Dylan? Why don't you tell me why one of your boys killed a werewolf? No, that's not, not one of my boys. <gasps> Something took a bite out of this guy. What killed my father? So what's the plan? No plan. Just bigger guns. I think I just leaked something. Oh my god! I look like a dead hooker! Oh, that's right. I'm not a big fan of silver, are you? Ah! Zombie power. <laughs> Dylan Dog, Dead of Night. This is a zombie support group? Hi, I'm Marcus, and um, I'm dead. 